Hey guys, Laurel here, and welcome back to another episode of Mother 3. This is Prince Laharo Kun. I screwed that intro up. In the last time, we went back to town. Well, not to town. We went back to Osohe Castle. And, um, we got Duster a super awesome, amazing weapon, which is pretty much the best thing ever. And it's probably going to be his weapon for the rest of the game. Which is nice, because that means I don't have to buy equipment for him. Alright, and I don't remember. I think we did some shopping, too. But, uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue onwards. Now, it's been a very long time since I've recorded, and so I'm just gonna leave this battle in just because, for old time's sake. Um, you know, I say that, like, every two videos, so I should probably stop saying it. But, yeah, I, um, I don't know why. I just... It's really, it's been a really scary semester, and there have just been a lot of things going on, and I really need to focus this semester on school. I probably should have, like, kept a, uh, update video for it, considering, you know, all this other fun stuff. But I felt really, really terrible that I haven't been recording, so here I am now. <laughs> um, so lately in life, in terms of games, I finally got my hands on Tales of Grace's F, which, for me currently, is probably going to be my personal game of the year, unless Kid Icarus Uprising, or Uprising? Is that what it was? I think that's what it was. The new Kid Icarus game that comes out on 3DS is going to be good. But, I don't know, because I don't have the money to buy it. Yeah, here we go. The hole looked just like this. But... Oh. That's awesome. 50 billion other... Holes. Oh boy. Were there this many last time? Oh well, one of them's gotta be the right one. Let's just dump down them at random. And that's literally what you have to do. You don't know which one it is, there is no indication to it. You just have to keep trying until you find it. And there's like, oh no, I forgot, you can get attacked by enemies if the. Eh, I forgot. I haven't played this in a while. But yeah, Tales of Grace's F is, um. Probably my personal game of the year. If you are a fan of Tales games, I would recommend it. As far as uh, storylines go, it's actually kind of weak on the storyline, which is really unfortunate because that's what Tales games are pretty good at. But I thought it was kind of weak in terms of the storyline because it just it felt like it progressed too fast and they never explored different things in the game. And you know, I felt they could have done a lot more with the story than what they did. So yeah, um, back to Mother 3, this kind of starts the part of the game where you have four party members, and as long, if I remember correctly, that doesn't change. You have four party members for the rest of the game. So, fun times there. And it gets pretty, it's kind of tough managing four party members in this game. I'm not sure what it is, but it's just, for me it was a bit harder the first time I played through it, and I was kind of intimidated at first. It, it takes a while to get used to chicken dashed off at breakneck speed. Okay. That was the... That was probably a, uh, egg that I just let hatch. Let's go ahead and... Let's give him beef jerky. I don't think it really matters, but... I'm trying to conserve items. Now, I think we can go down here. Oh, yeah, I know where that is. Okay, we don't need to go down there. Um, no, I don't want to fight you. So, let's pick a hole. Um, I'm not... <sighs> anyway, as I was saying, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I remem don't remember this at all. Like, I don't remember what hole I need to go down. And, yeah. Well, anyway, sign. Mole's building dungeons? In actuality, mole tunnels are more than just places to live. They also serve as traps intended to confuse and capture foods such as insects. In other words, the mole's tunnel also act as literal dungeons. Moreover, large-scale tunnels are 100 meters in length and not at all uncommon. If you ever get the opportunity, you should take some time out to watch moles in action. Oh, Mother 3, teaching us all there is to know about the wonders of animals. And then we got a new bracelet that we can't equip in the PSI menu. And apparently he can't wear it. And what can he... It must be a... Wait, what was it? It was an other... Dur... Wait, but I already... 
already bought those. <laughs> Sad face. All right, what do you have to say? Lazy, lazy. I don't know. I don't see why it's so important to fill the ground with holes. Why can't the ground just stay as ground and holes stay as holes? I think ground and holes can exist side by side. That's why I'm not digging and saying dig, dig, dig constantly. Lazy, lazy. <laughs> uh, no, get away from me. You stupid lion thing. <laughs> uh, I need to remember to not talk whenever the enemies start attacking me. But yeah, that, I remember this at least. This cave is uh, used for this. Now the problem is, is I don't remember which hole I went. Uh, I don't know I didn't mean to go in that hole. <laughs> no. Wait, maybe I did mean to go in this hole. Maybe I did. I think I did. Dig, 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 dig. What's the weather like outside? Eh? Sunny? What's sunny like again? Oh, it's cloudy then. Ah, cloudy. Wow, that's so incredible. Sunny. Oh, cloudy. <laughs> Alrighty then. I think this is actually the hole I meant to go inside of. I got lucky. Oh my god, I think I actually did. Phew, I'm gonna take a break. Hey, let's play a game. Try to guess the word I'm thinking of, okay? I'm thinking of a word that starts with an M and rhymes with hole. Wait, that's too easy. Okay, let's do a do-over then. The new word I'm thinking of starts with an H and rhymes with mole. Okay, never mind. I'm not very good at this game. Break time's over. Time to get back to work. Dig dig. <laughs> oh, I love the moles in this game. Let's talk to you. Once upon a time, there was a lazy mole who lived in a hole. This mole would never, ever dig on his own. Instead, he would stand by holes that others dug and say, dig, 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 dig. What happened to that mole, you ask? No, uh, I don't know this story very well. Oh, now I remember. Let's see. And it lived happily ever after. <laughs> oh, it's the clay man. And a hole that they thankfully walked past because I might have accidentally walked down it. Yeah, this is it. I hid the egg inside that mud figure. I got a bad feeling about this. Yes! It's still here. Ouch, that looked like it hurt. Duster, are you okay? I don't think so, he just kinda got struck by lightning. Yeah, I, I'm fine. Was that lightning just now? Phew, that was close. Um, yeah. That clay man is not dead. It got struck by lightning. Oh god, it's fully charged too. This isn't good. Huh, it took off with the egg. That's not good. We gotta go after it. And <laughs> Kumidora is feverish. So much for taking off after the clay man. Tower of love and peace. Stay away. <laughs> I remember this picture. Um, before the game was coming out, in the initial notes for the for the uh, translation, they um, actually used a picture of that lot of that um, poster with those with that text on it, and that was one of the pictures that we all got to look at and adore. And that's a tower, a really tall tower, and an electric gun, huh? I suppose that would explain it then, huh? Huh, huh, huh. So the lightning isn't random. There's a good view of the tower from Club Tittyboo. I wonder what it's here for. Even though I accidentally just told you, but I'm, I'm sure you could have figured it out. And there goes the rampaging clay man. Anyways, never mind this crap. We're gonna have to catch that thing quick. And walk slowly behind the tower. Because Kumatora is feverish. Because I leveled up in a battle, and I don't know if I'm going to show it or not. No! And just so you all know, I'm still terrible at combos. That probably will never change. Probably. Really? Really, game? Jerk. Man, I hate those things. 
Come on, Kumatora. Thank you. Defense down alpha. And another fight. Okay, here's a nice little pro tip that I just figured out that I should have known. Um, secret herb, nice. If you, uh, use ice on those Kanga Sharks, it actually does a ton of damage, so keep that in mind. If you are playing this in the future. Ice generally does a really good amount of damage to singular enemies, unless they're mechanical, in which case you should use thunder. But, uh... Ooh, magic butterfly. We needed one of those. Now, I know I think I, I think I talked about these guys at some point, but in Earthbound, they recover your PP by, uh, 20. I'm pretty sure they do the same thing in this one. Let me check. If I can get to the status menu. Yeah, they recover your PP by 20. So, uh, keep that in mind, also. They're actually super helpful, because it does it for the entire party. No, go away, Kanga Sharks. Get away, get away. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Get away, get away, get away now. And we got a save frog, yay! Ooh, and we got this, um, vending machine too. Let's see what's in it. We got a cup of pork noodles, an anti-paralysis, a fresh mint, paper fan, recollection bell, eye drops, and a secret herb. Okay, this is just a status effect one. Does this one have something else? Yep, this is- this one is- I think this one also has just all the other stuff that the, uh... Excuse me, the, um, other molded, in case you missed it. <laughs> and now I have the hiccups. Awesome. <coughs> now I'm coughing. First I burp, then I cough, and then I- God. All this in the middle of a- of a friggin... Recording session, too. Alright, I'm gonna save here. And, um, I'll be right back, so... Be right back. Okay, and I'm back. Um, alright. So, uh, I'm drawing a complete blank as to what's up ahead, so let's go on anyway. Oh. Clayman dolls. And a giant thing of clay. The clay here didn't wind up as Clayman. In other words, it's just ordinary old clay. Oh, what up, pig masks? Hey, do you take off your mask when you go to the bathroom? No, I leave it on. Why? Do you take yours off? You go through all that trouble in the bathroom? Or in the bathroom, if you're in CS. And then you go through all the trouble of putting it back on when you're done? Yeah, I go through the trouble. I mean, there is a place in there to hang your mask and all. Man, you're dumb. That's not for you to hang your mask. That's where you hang bags and umbrellas and stuff like that. Oh, I always thought it was for masks. So that's why it was always been so hard to hang my mask there. Hey, you, what are you, what's your guys' problem? What are you looking at? Ah, he's... I'm... What's all the ruckus? What in blazes are you... Okay. Sir. Sir? I wasn't where you were here, sir. Please forgive my rudeness. Um... Wearing such a shabby outfit will set a bad example to the men, Commander. Here, I'll prepare a change of clothes for you. Please put them on right away, sir. Likewise for the folks accompanying you, too. Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> Alright, that's better. Oh, bony. Well, I'd better return to my duties. Looks like there's been some sort of misunderstanding, but it's perfect for us. Now let's go find that thing before they figure out who we are. Look at bony. Look at that, that's just ridiculous. I kinda... I thought this was the section that was coming up, but I wasn't sure. So now we get to play as a commander, and Lucas gets to look all cool in a commander outfit. And pig masks. If left alone, that berserk clay man will probably run into a tree and fall apart or something. So I don't know, maybe you should just let it go. Yeah, well, we kinda can't do that. I think it's only natural to wonder how clay men work. Basically, we mix this weird stuff in with clay, and when an electric shock is applied to a lump of it, it starts moving around. Does that help explain it any? Well, to be honest, I don't really understand how it works either. And no, that doesn't really explain much. But we do know there's a hidden substance inside of these clay men. And it's kind of cool because you can just sit here and watch them, um, kind of just appear out of this little door here. But, uh, let's, uh... We can't get over there either. Also, fun fact. 
when you run into something? Does that sound sound familiar to anyone? Anyone at all? Any Pokemon fans out there, maybe? Yeah, it's the same sound effect that it makes in Pokemon if you run against the wall. As I watch this Clayman assembly line, time becomes like a blur to me. Mm. <laughs> uh, just like counting sheep, that never worked for me. When Claymen break down or malfunction, they take themselves to the garbage area. Talk about convenient. Thank you, Blue Mask. Talk about convenient, that you would tell us such wonderful information. Oh, hello, Commander. What's that? You're looking for a Clayman? Huh? A Clayman that's gone hi haywire? Come now, Commander. I know there's no need for me to say this, but our product development is flawless. We've never made anything that might go berserk and malfunction. No siree. <sighs> oh, pig masks. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the IRD device. Or as Ryan Phoenix says, but you're still hungry. <laughs> uh, I've never beaten that game either. I've got stuck on the final boss, Chrono Trigger. And you're just going to tell me the something I already know, and it's a white pig mask. Huh. I just saw an out of control clayman run out the back door. If you're looking for it, you better hurry before it gets stuffed inside a garbage truck and taken to the dump. Still, what in the world did you hide in it? It must have been something crazy to get you in such a tizzy. Oh, you can't say? It must be something embarrassing then, huh? Yeah, we'll go with that. That sounds like a good idea. And when claim in break, they head to the garbage. When I think about that, it kind of makes me feel sad. Yep. <laughs> That clay man kind of reminds me of myself. Oh, don't even think about it. Don't go inside of that garbage truck. Oh, no. That is not good. We all know what happens at garbage dumps. Do do do. No oh, crap, we can't let it get away. No, we can't. But unfortunately, well... Unfortunately, though, we're gonna have to end it here, though, guys. Because I'm kind of running out of time. With all the cutting out I have to do, it's probably going to end up being about time. And I told myself I'd stop talking about that, but I did a great job of talking about it. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and continue on next time to go find this clay man. And maybe find out some more stuff? Who knows? But you'll tune in next time to find out. Anyway guys, this has been Prince Laharakun, and this has been Mother 3. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Later guys!